the Casa Encantada. The world is filled with millions of beautiful homes that are mostly owned by influential and highly successful people. The Casa Encantada is one of those magnificent edifices. Built in an ultra-modern style with a touch of Georgian structure, the mansion is a sight to behold. Nestled above the Bel Air Country Club, the mansion's history is replete with well-to-do ownership. More like the real description of Paradise Regained, this neoclassical-style mansion was completed in 1938 and commissioned in 1939. The mansion is a product of the architectural skill of famous architect James Dolena. This beautiful and highly expensive detached building is coming close to being a national monument in America, a reminder of things past, present, and an outlook towards the technological advancements that the future holds. The Casa Encantada is a sublime mix of stories and structures. The beauty it possesses enchanted the former owner, hotel mogul Conrad Hilton, into giving it the popular name it goes by. In today's video, we will be taking a close look at the architectural masterpiece Casa Encantada, with a view to its many features that has won it the most expensive house status in the United States two times in a row. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. History of Casa Encantada The word Casa Encantada in Spanish loosely translates as charmed house. The land on which the house was built was owned by Hilda Olson Bolt Weber in 1936, 9.5 acres on a hilltop site from Bel Air Club. The land was bought for $100,000, which was considered a crazy sum at the time because of the global economic depression. The address of the house is now 10644 Bellagio Road. Being an outsider in Los Angeles, Weber struggled for recognition. She was part of the newly rich individuals in LA, having married a wealthy glass manufacturer. The house was completed in December 1938 at a total cost in excess of $2 million the cornerstone having been laid in May 1937 by Weber and her contractor, landscape designer, and architect. The house was commissioned in 1939, measuring up to 40,000 square feet. This house is not just a mansion, but a mega mansion. The cost of the construction and decoration of the house cost almost Weber's entire net worth, and she continued to be extravagant with a combined household and ground staff of more than 40 employees. To flaunt their new home, the Webers hosted a seated dinner for 250 people shortly after Christmas in 1938 at a cost of $50,000. This extravagance necessitated the Webers to put the home up for sale in 1948 for $1.5 million, an amount which was less than its purchase price a decade earlier. It eventually sold in November 1950 to Conrad Hilton for a meager, considering the purchase price, $225,000. Hilton, who was enchanted by the serenity and neoclassical style of the house, named it Casa Encantada. He occupied the house until his death in 1979. With the death of Conrad Hilton, the house was sold to financier David H. Murdoch for $12.4 million in 1980. This sale established the record for the most expensive house sold in the United States. David Murdoch renamed the house Bellagio House. He also sold the original Rob's John Gibbons furniture designed for the house in a two-day sale fetching $700,000 in 1981. The house was used to display Murdoch's extensive and expensive collection of English furniture. The new owner also redesigned the landscape grounds to fit his extensive furniture collection. Murdoch sold the house in 2000 to businessman Gary Winnick for $94 million, a sale which set another record for the most expensive house sold in the United States. Subsequently, Gary acquired some of the original Rob's John Gibbings furnishings. He restored the name of the mansion to Casa Encantada. To restore the house, Winnick employed the expensive services of architect Peter. The patronage cost him a great deal but it was worth it, as the outcome of the restoration was beautifully commendable. The Casa Encantada was put up for sale in October 2019 by Winnick through Rick Hilton and Jeffrey Highland's real estate agency, Hilton & Highland, for $225 million. 
Since the house is hidden from the street and surrounded by mature trees and the golf courses of the Bel Air Country Club, the real estate agency speculated that the land value of the house was $175 million. The agency stuck to the price of $225 million because replicating or duplicating the house and the ambiance that surrounds it is almost impossible. This is because of the lack of ingenious craftspeople and highly expensive and prohibitive building costs. Casa Encantada was designed by a master architect, James Delena, in 1936. The architect designed the estate in the shape of an H to provide city, ocean, and garden views from all 60 of its rooms. The architect describes the design of the mansion as modern Georgian with Grecian influences. The interior design was the responsibility of Peterson Studios of Santa Barbara and the English furniture and interior designer T.H. Robs John Gibbings. The fabrics, carpets, and over 200 pieces of furniture in the house were also created by the marvelous designer T.H. Robs John Gibbings. The house and its outbuildings were made from reinforced concrete with a stone-colored finish with an Italianate fountain in the driveway court to the north. At the front door of this magnificent house is a large foyer that greets guests. A gallery with floor-to-ceiling windows opens onto a south-facing patio that overlooks the terraced lawn that leads to the swimming pool and cabana. The landscapes of ancient Greece and Rome inspired the features in the garden. These features included bronze sculptures and fountains designed by the brilliant American sculptor Gladys Lewis Bush. The mansion has wood-paneled walls in addition to moldings embellished with geometric patterns. The property also features wrought ironwork and terrace balconies. The house and its outbuildings measure up to 40,000 feet in size. The completed main house was almost 30,000 square feet in size, with servants' quarters in the two-story garage and a two-story guest house. Conrad Hilton self-published a book about the house in which he described the clearly discernible Greek influences of the house with its aesthetic lines. In the book, he says the house is sweeping in regal beauty. The house carries a classical motif into the interior through columns of Doric and Ionic simplicity. This mansion has the complete features of extreme luxury and comfort. The beauty of the mansion does not exist at the face level alone, but also within the length and breadth of its surroundings. Amenities such as badminton and tennis courts with galleries for spectators and a swimming pool exist in the mansion. A tunnel connects the grounds of the house to the fairways of the Bel Air Country Club. In recent decades, the grounds have included a basketball and tennis court and a rose garden and koi ponds. The house and its contents were adequately preserved by Conrad Hilton for several decades after he purchased it in the late 1940s. The doors, rugs, upholstering, draperies, decorative objects all bear the integrating mark of the Greek key design. The setting of the house and the rich colors and harmonic texture of the design help shrink the architectural mass a third of a city block in size to the conceptual intimacy of a country cottage. This house is also complete with state-of-the-art furniture, designed by the best of the best at the time. The rugs, carpets, chairs, and other pieces of furniture were designed by the best craftsmen at the time. Apart from the well-crafted furniture, the house also boasts of ballrooms, with stylish chandeliers and walls with the best finishes money could afford at the time. This includes a reception hall with an epic 18-foot ceiling, and this generosity of space is continued throughout the dining room, card room, bar, and living areas. There's a pool house with a second bar in its own professional screening room. When it's time to explore outdoors, there's a tennis court, basketball court, rose garden, greenhouse, and koi ponds. Weber, as is known to all, invested a lot of money into the interior decorations of the house. This metaphorically makes it a book with both a beautiful cover and a wonderful story in it. In recent times, the house has been renovated and modern features have been installed into it, especially features that include tech facilities, surveillance security systems, and other high-tech gadgets. This is a monument of the past, the beauty of today, and the hope of a wonderful tomorrow. This mansion is one of the monuments of Bel Air. It speaks of the beauty and enchantment of nature as well as the wondrous power of technology. 
currently on the market for a whopping $225 million. If the house goes for that amount, it will be the most expensive house in all of California and arguably one of the most expensive houses in the whole of the United States. With its marvelous blend of the Georgian structure and modern facilities, an outbuilding that is about 30,000 square feet, totaling 40,000 square feet, and other attractions, this mansion is most likely to be sold for the asking price or close to it. There you have it, the wondrous, historic, and enchanting Casa Encantada. Check out some of our other videos on your screen for more interesting content. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button because more exciting videos are on the way.